Good morning, everyone. This is Jason from the Glamping Guys. We're here in beautiful, sunny Florida. It's a wonderful day. So I thought I'd give you a little review and a quick tour of the RV campground that we're staying at here in Winter Haven, Florida. The name of the place, as you can see on the sign, is the Cypress Campground and RV Park. So let's go ahead and go for a little walk here and we'll talk about some of the wonderful amenities, the things they offer, as well as, you know, some of the cons and uh, pros. You can see by the front entrance that it is a very well-maintained area. They also do RV cells here and also consignment. They don't have a lot of RVs, but they all, are very uh, nice and newer models and we'll come and walk over here a little bit closer but this is the front entrance another great thing about this place is that they are LGBTQ friendly and it's also a gated community which is really really nice so you do have to have a code Another great thing I like about this place is that they are taking the coronavirus very seriously. So all public areas that are inside, including laundry rooms, masks are required. We'll be coming into the office shortly, but you can see even right here, they have these signs posted everywhere. Now this is the outdoor pool area and they have a really, really nice men's and women's bathroom. They also have showers. And this is the great little outdoor patio area, which is really, really pretty. And then over here, you can see they have a beautiful outdoor pool area. Another fun little thing about this place is that they have miniature putt-putt golf. So right there are the golf clubs. And then right over here, is the little golf course. You know, it's not huge, like you would go to the putt-putt places that you, you know, where you'd have to go pay. But it's cute, you know, they have some ramps. They have a little windmill over there in the distance. Oh, this is cool, kind of like a little loop-de-loop -loop they have going on right there. That's pretty cool. We'll come over here and take a walk over to the windmill. Check that out. Yeah, that's really cute, the windmill. But you can see, you know, they really take pride in this uh, area and really keep it nicely manicured and maintained. Here's some horseshoes right here. And then you can see they also have an area for a shuffleboard, which is really, really nice. Just kind of walk up over here real quick and then we'll kind of backtrack for a second and go inside the office. And then they have like a little racquetball tennis court here. Oh, and I just noticed that. There's actually a basketball hoop, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so here's the front office area. But it's just very cute, very homey. They have a little outdoor seating area. And the sign's really cute. Welcome to our porch. And for any of you who have been to the Winter Haven area, as you know, it's very close to Legoland. So a lot of people will stay here just for like a few days and take the kids down to the theme park. There's a lot of great places to eat in the area, a lot of shopping. In fact, over behind the propane tank where you see the beige back of a building, that's actually a super Walmart. So it's really convenient to just take a walk over there and get your groceries when you need them don't even have to drive so that's a really cool thing as well and then we're gonna go ahead and 
go on into the office. They have a little sign up table here if you want. You can give a little information about yourself. And then right up at the front, this is obviously where you check in, right up here. But what I love about it too is that they just really did a great job with all the Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. See, look at the Christmas tree. Okay. But I love it. All the decorations are just really, really nice here. Oh, and look, it's Rudolph. Oh, and this is Debbie. She's one of the admins that work behind the desk here. Did you want to say anything, Debbie? Just hi, and I'm so glad that I met you and that I found your website. I've already watched one already. I want to watch them all. I'm going to subscribe today. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, you've been awesome, and you've made us feel so welcome here, so well, thank you. We're, we're happy you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, everybody here is just so sweet. And this is one of my favorite signs that they have. You are my favorite hello and my hardest goodbye. But yeah, this is definitely, of all the places we have visited, one of our favorites. It's just a good vibe, good energy here very accepting, very diverse. And then of course, here's the mail room. Everybody has their own little mailbox. And then they have some great like literature over here of all kinds of different things to go and see when you're in this area. Obviously that's where the packages are, is over on this side. They have a little community board here. And then right here, I'm not gonna be coming. We're gonna, we have other plans for Christmas but they have a Christmas prime rib dinner and they are actually providing that to all of the park guests. They are enforcing mask wearing and social distancing. So that was just a quick little tour of the office. It was a little busy today, so you know I would have stayed inside and chatted a little bit more, but we are back outside and this is actually the manager's house so you can see they are pretty much right smack in the middle of everything i also just wanted to show you real quick the rec hall and they have really nice laundry rooms here as well and then they also have another set of bathrooms and shower houses and the rec hall is closed but this is where they have all their parties. So what's really cool is that they also have little doggy stations, which is really nice. And they are peppered throughout the park. Uh, all the birds are kind of chatty over here. And then way, way in the back, which we'll get to, is where a lot more of the uh, long-term full-timers are. And along this back row are also a lot of the uh, full-timers and people who are like full-time residents. But yeah, and everyone here for the most part is really nice. Some people, you know, are much more outgoing. Good morning. A lot of people here are seasonal. They even have like the weekenders, even here. They even have people that'll come and just park for the night and then they'll be gone the next day. And next year when we come back, the site right here is definitely one that we're looking at. So I'll kind of segue that into a few of the cons. Some of the sites here are really nice, a little more spread out. Where we are, unfortunately, uh, it was the best site for us as a pull through and where it was located off the, uh, the main road. But we are kind of sandwiched between two other RVs and they both have dogs and the dogs bark and bark and bark and bark and bark and bark 
and bark. So I'm sure you would agree that that repetitive barking can really, really grate on the nerves. So yeah, that's one of the, uh, the cons. We are lucky though that they don't leave them alone constantly, but the barking I can tolerate. I have a dog, but it is a little excessive, but not to the point where I feel that the owners are neglecting their dogs. But that's one thing when you're in a really tight RV park like this, is that you are literally right on top of each other and you can actually hear people's conversations and stuff too. So Todd and I, you know, we try to keep, you know, our conversations fairly quiet when we have all the windows open like today, <laughs> for example. And Todd is actually here and I think we'll surprise him in a little bit when we get back to our RV site. This is a really, really beautiful site right here. And I've inquired about it, but unfortunately, um, it's not for short-term visitors, it is also for long-term. And everything in front of you, these are all the long-termers. And we're gonna go for a little walk down through there, but I just wanted to take you kind of back through this area because this is also where they have more RV storage. And I'll come back here with Ziggy and we'll go for our walks and stuff like that. But I just get so sad every time I walk by this one solitude fifth wheel. Um, it's just being neglected. It's under a shade tree, which is just really bad for it. And I'll come in a little closer and let you see, but it's just covered in just dirt. And I just feel really sorry for him. You know, he definitely needs a little bit of TLC, so hopefully uh, the owners will be back and they'll be able to take good care of him or her. I know most people prefer to name their rigs female names, but for obvious reasons, I'm sure you can understand why we like to name ours guy names. So we'll go down through there in just a second, but I'm gonna show you this cool little shortcut and this is where I go walk to go to Walmart. So I don't even have to walk down the busy main road. This is actually a cute little shortcut that will take you right over to the pickup location for grocery pickup. And then right around the corner up there, there is the Walmart liquor store, and then right next to that is the entrance into the Walmart grocery store. So now we're on the very, very back road of the RV park, and this is the residential area. And there's somebody over there talking. But yeah, we'll just come down this road. And I got a little sidetracked showing you the shortcut through Walmart. So we were talking about some of the cons. Um, now some of the, uh, the pros. They have really, really good cell service. We use Verizon and we also have a Verizon hotspot as well as an AT&T hotspot. And we have great cell signal. I'm getting definitely five bars all the way. Um, the other cool thing is for you guys who, who watch us, you know, all of our videos, you know, I just got the iPhone 12 and that actually has 5G and not here in the park, but as soon as I get more into the little busier part of town, like going over, sometimes I'll go to the grocery store. Uh, I like to also go to Publix and Aldi as well. But as soon as you get out of the park, uh, I will um, get a 5G signal sometimes as well. Not often, but I am starting to get access to 5G, so that makes me very happy. Here is another laundry room and bathhouse. So they have two back here, and then they have 
one in the front at the rec hall. They have one at the office area with the swimming pool. And they're really nice. We personally don't use them. We use our own facilities. All right, so I just thought I'd bring you up to the front area of our uh, house. But yeah, this is us right here. And you can see the spot's pretty cramped, but we were very, very lucky. We had enough room. We were able to get the truck and the vault. But look how much space we have. It's, it's pretty tight. And, you know, like you can hear everybody's conversations and, you know, we just really like our privacy and we like to embrace, you know, the quietness of nature and uh, it's definitely, you know, busy here quite often. And, um, you know, the other thing too is that, um, you know, people smoke. So um, you can smell cigarette smoke everywhere. So there's actually been days where I've had to actually close my windows, you know, because of people smoking. But yeah, and then here's our little sign, and it's holding up really well for all of you, again, who follow us consistently. You know that we went to our first RV rally in February of 2020, right before the COVID pandemic hit, and so that was really, really nice. Now, remember I was telling you about the dogs? You hear that? You can't really miss it, I'm sure. But pretty much all day long, that's kind of also what we have to deal with. But, you, you know, it's, you know, hit, hit or miss. Like you, you, you have to decide, you know, is it a good location? Are the amenities nice? Is the rent, you know, you know reasonable? Are the people nice? Is the staff nice? Is the park well maintained? Well, all of that, I can definitely answer yes. Yes and yes. So we're gonna come inside real quick and we're gonna see what Todd is doing. Hey, Todd, yeah. are you decent? I'm always decent. <laughs> I'm just finishing up the video here. We just got done with the RV park. Hello, Ziggy. And right here we have all of Ziggy's spa supplies out because as soon as I'm finished with this, Ziggy and I are having a doggy spa day and he's going to get a really good bath. Hello, Mr. Handsome. How are you, Ziggy? How you doing? Can you say hi? Good boy. Say hi. Good boy. Are you ready for your bath? Good boy. And how are you? I'm good. I'm just chilling. Good. Did you want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. You know, I get quite a few people asking about you all the time. Oh, I'm fine. I'm here. But, you know, um, during the holidays, you're, you're really busy. I'm you're busy. just literally doing, you know, extra side musical gigs just yeah. constantly. And this year, it's even been busier, which you would think... It would be the opposite, yeah. But I, I'm very blessed in that uh, I received a lot of extra wonderful... Um, gigs for the holidays so I feel very lucky so I'm just enjoying the one afternoon where I can pretty much just sit here and do nothing yeah except of course say hello to all of you out there and wish you a fabulous holiday season and hope that you're just doing great out there staying safe stay insane like we are mostly <laughs> yeah exactly so yeah guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the Cypress Gardens campground and RV park tour and we got to see Todd real quick and his beautiful handsome face and he got to say hi to you guys. And we also got to see our little child here looking his best as well. So I think with that said, Todd, would you like to do the honors? So I get to do the honors, really? Oh my gosh, it's been so long, I forgot what to say. <gasps> Have a glamtastic day and stay tuned. Have a fabulous holiday season. Have a fabulous year. Hope 2021 ends up being a heck of a lot better than 2020. Stay safe out there. And, uh, Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. <laughs>